Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. It's windy out here. Hopefully it doesn't affect the camera too much. I'm color coordinated today. This is my little treat cup. Usually it's a red solo cup. Today it's orange because it's still hunting season. And nope, no luck. So look, these guys know what this means. Treats, guys. Do you guys want some? Okay, look. Ooh, yeah. Let's see if we can get these guys in there. There you go. Um, excuse me, girls. Are you guys inside? I don't know if I'm getting them in there very good. Yeti bum. Yeti, you show more of your bum on this camera than anything else. You guys are crazy. Woo! Oops, jump that one. There we go. There they are. Chickens! Look at the babies. Can you tell? Let's see. That's a baby. That's one of the Isa Browns or... I don't know, cinnamon queens, you guys, some down south call them. Uh, when we get them here, they're Isa Browns. Um, the black and white ones in the back there, those are babies. So the babies aren't babies anymore. They've, they've uh, filled out quite a bit. The, uh, the middles, the ones that we hatched here with a broody hen, is uh, this one looks like Yeti. That's a little girl. Or a big girl. She's big. And I got another one here somewhere. Oh, there she is. She's right there. Where you going? Where you going? You guys want some more treats? Here. Woo! -hoo! Run it. Get some exercise, guys. Here you go. There. There's the rest of it. I just thought I'd come outside and uh, spend a little time with the chickens. I'm feeling under the weather today. Um, I'm hoping it's not anything too bad, but I think I've got a cold at least. Um, and uh, I've been feeling fine up till then, but I've been working my buns off. Uh, if you don't know, I have another channel. It's called Repurpose My Way. Sorry, the road is super loud today because the leaves are down. Um, and uh, I've been doing a lot of crafting videos and also uh, I have orders for stuff and I've been making stuff and putting on Facebook Marketplace and on my Etsy shop. And all that's down in the description. So if anybody's interested uh, to check it out, feel free. If not, that's fine. Just thought I'd mention it. What's going on guys? You're gonna follow me around now because I have the cup. It's empty. It's empty. So, yeah, I got up this morning and sneezing and my eyes are running and it's cold. And let's see if I can show you. A lot of it's gone, but we got a little snow. Sorry for the up close and personal. Um, you don't need to see that. We got a lot of, we got a little bit of snow, but a lot of it's gone. Uh, let's see. Let's see if you can see it through the, on the deck there, on the slats on the deck. Yeah. It was covering everything. It was covering everything. Whew. My eyes are watering like crazy. So of course, I got up this morning and I gotta switch arms. What are you guys doing? Ooh. Of course, when I got up this morning, I'm like, uh-oh. Not feeling quite right. Doing a lot of sneezing. And uh, now my body, like my back, my kidneys, which is where it's gonna hit me because I have kidney disease, but um, my kidneys ache. So I'm like, great. So I was telling Scott this morning when he came home from work, I'm like, I have so much to do. I wanna make this, I wanna finish making this and get it up and get it to sell. And, uh, and then, you know, I wanted to sweep the floor and do the dishes and vacuum. And does anybody else like, when they feel like they're getting sick, go, Oh crap, I have so much to do. <laughs> and try to get it done before you get so sick that you don't really care whether it's done or not. That's kind of me. 
I fight it <laughs> every step of the way um, as much as I can. But at some point I feel like I'm feeling my body going, no, nope, you need to rest. I have been working pretty hard, overworking it a little probably, but you know, years ago it wasn't overworking it. It was being lazy and, and not working enough. Now, as I'm getting older, whatever. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about getting older. <laughs> so, uh, everything's ready here on the home front, on the homestead for the most part. We've got um, a mess over here, but the tractor's all ready to go. The wind is blowing. Hopefully it's not getting on my camp, on my microphone. Uh... I've got buckets out because I'm going to be going to the uh, sand garage there to get sand for here. Uh, we did one run and filled up, I don't know, four or five buckets. And uh, so I like to get them all filled up and get them in the cover it. Um, and then if we, as we need them, we take them out and, and sand and salt places that need it. So we've got to make another run to do that at some point. And those will be out of here. Uh, Scott is has changed the oil on the the generator, so that is all up to date and ready to go. Um, last time he did it was in June, and we hadn't used it a whole heck of a lot. And um, he. Um, but we've been using it a lot lately, usually between November and January, February, we use it a lot. So he'll probably have to change it again at some point. We don't keep track of the hours, which we should, but we kind of know. Um, we can tell by the look of the oil. Um, if we have to start filling the oil a lot, uh, we can usually tell it's probably time to do what we need to do. So. So I was gonna show you guys, I'm gonna switch here cause my arm's getting tired. I was gonna show you guys, of course, the woodshed's full, all the stacks and piles of firewood are gone. The only thing that's left is dead grass, which will come back next spring, I'm not worried about it. We have a bunch that, uh, a bunch of apple that was given to us, apple wood um, from my mother's house. They have a bunch of apple trees and they needed to cut some cause they were just rotten off and, and not doing very well. And so they gave us all of that. So I cut split, well, I split it, I didn't cut it. And threw it up on the hill because we don't have any more room to put it in. Basement's full, the shed's full. Um, this is what's left of what we, this other lighter colored pile here, is what's left of uh, the trees that we cut over in the corner over here. Um, our buddy Dennis came over and helped when Scott's back was bothering him. So he came and did that. And that's the area over there where we cut. And we're talking about next year, we've got to start going around the corner. Because on the other side of this, you can see the little corner of it right there, are solar panels. And the trees right now, the leaves are off. But when the leaves are on, the trees obstruct the sun somewhat and we need a little bit more sun um, you know it's just part of having solar panels you've got to keep the trees back and as they grow you know it's just maintenance of having them so I gave these girls some treats now the this is two young ones here they know where the treat door is now and they're like hey we want more treats it's bad girls We had uh, some raccoons getting into the cover it here. And I do have a feeder that's kind of up off the ground at night, um, but they were able to reach up and pull it down and they had been emptying it. It ha was happening for about a week. And I was like, why is that thing down? And why is it so empty um, every time I come out? And uh, it's like the chicken, I know I have 10 more extra chickens that are eating the big girl's food now, uh, but, and not the baby, you know, little baby chunks, but you know, they can't eat that much. So yeah, found out with a game camera sticking it in there that it's raccoons and I'll put 
uh, quick little video. I'll probably do a longer one or a short on it. Uh, Scott and I are trying to come up with something really funny uh, to do with it because it's pretty cute footage. So there's our panels, there's some chickens running around, our little homestead. So yeah, uh, it's starting to get cold. We've had some really, um, really warmer days, like in the 50s, it's, that's warm to us. The trucks are just unbelievable. The dump trucks going by are crazy. They must be trying to fix, fix stuff before the cold sets in for goodsies. Um, so I apologize if that's a big deal with the sound, but maybe they all are bouncing around. They don't care about this cold weather. Um, yeah, so it's, we've been getting rain overnight, like tons of rain, like lots and lots of rain. And then we get up in the morning and it clears off and the sun comes out and then for a few hours and then clouds back up again and then tons and tons of rain overnight. It's happened like four or five nights. It's like, that is crazy. Um, but you got up this morning and other places have had snow, obviously in the mountains, they've, uh, they've had snow. Um, but for us, this is the first snow on the ground that we've had. Um, I'm going to take you into the garden, my messy garden, and I haven't even put down. I've got uh, hay that I had that I put around the plants this past um, spring to keep down the weeds, which worked out very well. Uh, and I pulled everything out. I just kept some stuff there because i got to dump it out eventually. And... Um, the chickens have been in here. Let's see if I can show you. Chickens have been in here, dust bathing and spinning stuff around. We've got some stuff over there. I really haven't got a lot done here. Um, I've been working so much inside. I guess we're gonna have some snow showers. It's coming down. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's coming down. My uh, my greenhouse is a mess. But it's where I'm going to store stuff that I want stored until, you know, until the spring. But I probably should put my my buckets in that are down here and my ladder. Yeah, something else I did. Winterized the little coop. I made it so the chickens can still go in. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys. I'm going to back up. Do the moonwalk. All right, there's a little tiny hole right there. The chickens go in and out. And then the door on the other side is open to the garden so they can go in and out that way. And the garden's open because there's nothing in there that they feel hurt. Um, I gave them a flock block. This little barred rock here is pecking at that. Just because she's having a good time. Is it good? It's like you guys have treaded down the ground pretty good. I'll have to put it in somewhere if we get any any sizable snow, probably. What else have I done? Um, I've winterized the chicken run and then inside the coop, like the screen door is all all done except for the bottom where they go in and out because it lets kind of lets the air flow, but it keeps the air from blowing on them. Well, hello, Laverne. There's Laverne. What you doing, girl? Have you been hiding inside? Have you been laying eggs? Probably not. I've been getting one egg. It's from one of my Easter eggers. Uh, I don't know where she is right now, but maybe she's in laying an egg. So yeah, so not a lot to show what's going on. I mean, I've been working here off and on outside. We get everything put away and winterized all my water barrel took my, my uh, rain catchment apart and so that's all apart and down and flipped over so so I was just looking over here at this pansy plant I haven't done usually I dump these out I am so slack but look I got a little pansy <laughs> and it's still green in spots that one looks like it's been eaten probably birds I wish I caught that on video Yeti just screeched and all the chickens that were out here went running under the deck. I think um, something flew, flew through. I didn't see it 
but I'm thinking that's what happened. He is the best rooster. He's awesome. What a good boy he is. He's handsome too. Hey. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sneak out of the shot. There he is. I'm gonna get a drink. Yeah, I came out and emptied all their little rubber bowls, flipped them over, banged them out and gave them fresh water. So they're happy. Um, but when he screeches, they all hide. And they like it under those stairs over there. They love it under there. But they love it under the deck, which is good. I'm hoping next year we'll get a deck on the back. And they'll have another hiding space when they need it. All right, well, it's getting war uh, cold out here and uh, I need to go in and get warm. The stove's going, I gotta fill the wood box. Uh, Scott sleeping has got one more night of work and then he'll be home to take care of me if I need it. So, uh, I think I'll be, I think I'll be fine. I just got the watering eyes, which the wind's blowing, so that would happen anyway. Hopefully this whole video isn't crap, but anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on in the homestead. We've got stuff put away that we don't use. A few chairs left on the deck because we've had some really nice days we've been able to sit out. But it's the beginning of winter, I think. I think uh, probably most of those days where we sit outside are over. And, uh, you know, that's just what it is. Thanksgiving's coming next week. So that's exciting. Um, hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. We have a live coming up in a few days with uh, all kinds of stuff going on. And hopefully we'll see you guys there. All right, gonna head in. Thanks for watching guys. Like, share and subscribe as always and have a great day.